Hello everyone, this is Rakesh from MotionStreet.com and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. And in today's video, we will learn how to create a trailer like a Squid Games entirely inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. So let's take a look on what we will create today. As you saw it looks super cool and professional and also it is super easy to create. So without any further ado, let's quickly roll the intro and dive into the after effects. So here we are in After Effects now let's start by creating a new composition and we will call it as BG for our background and I'm going to keep the dimension as 1920 by 1080 with 30 fps and 10 seconds long with the background color as complete black now hit ok and for this animation we need to new more compositions so go to the composition click on new and let's call this as text with the same settings hit ok create a last composition Let's call it as main and again hit OK. Now jump back to the BG composition and right click anywhere in this area in order to create a solid and let's call this BG as well. And for the color, I have a hex code which is FC287B which is a kind of pinkish red color and again hit OK. And before we proceed further with this animation, let me tell you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial, this entire project file is available to download from the link in the description. So make sure to check it out. And now it's time to add a texture to our background. So what we can do is we can import an image. So now go to the file, import and we will import a image of a texture. Now when you are done with importing your asset it will automatically create a composition with the same name which you can delete it if you want like i'm deleting it because i don't want this composition for this animation so now we will be only left with our image just drag it onto the top of our layer and of course you can use any texture of your choice now hit s on your keyboard to bring up the scaling property and let's scale this all the way so that it fits the entire composition and you can also manipulate the scaling in the preview panel like so and now again set it to 100% and this time we will apply an effect from effects and presets which is called invert and just double click to apply that effect and now we will and if you don't see this effect and presets tab just go to the window and make sure the effects and presets is checked right now just go to the blending mode and we will set this to add and again hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity and we will decrease it all the way to 25% and yeah there we go the entire background is now ready to roll and it is the time to work with the text so head straight to the text composition select the text tool and let's type in anything you want so I'm typing squid game and by the way, I'm using this font which is called Game of Squid and it is the same font which has been used in the web series. And if you don't see this character paragraph and align tabs, you can always go to the window. Make sure the align character and the paragraph are checked. Now let's align this text into the center for composition. And let's place this anchor point into the center of our text. So what you can do is hold control on your keyboard. And double click on this pan behind tool and it will put this uh, anchor point into the center. Now make a right click on the layer and select create shapes from text and it will automatically hide the original text layer. So now what we can do is we just have to animate our letter. So click on this arrow, open the contents and open S and open the letter S again and drop a keyframe on the path and go to around 4 seconds. and zoom in a little so that you can work more easily and se select S and hold shift and select these two points and drag it towards the left like so and again go to the very beginning and the next letter we want to animate let's suppose is U uh, so open U again 
drop a keyframe on the path go to around 4 seconds and now select U again hold shift select these two points and drag it in the upward direction like so uh, yeah maybe this this looks good and again go to the very beginning and now choose the next letter I think uh, it would be M uh, so open M again drop a keyframe on the path go to around 4 seconds 4 seconds yeah and select the M hold shift select these two points again and drag it in the downward direction like so and the last letter we want to animate let's suppose is E and I want to go with the at the very beginning of the timeline and open the letter E and select it drop a keyframe go to around 4 seconds and select these two points by holding shift and then drag it something like this and now I think we are done with this letter animation yeah this really looks cool so what else you can do is hit U to see all the keyframes and select all of them and you can uh, either press F9 on the keyboard or you can make a right click go to keyframe assistant and easy ease them now go to the graph editor select these two points and make sure if your if your graph does it, uh, editor doesn't look like this make sure you're working in this uh, edit speed graph not in edit value graph okay now select these two points hold shift and drag this right handle all the way to the left so that it will make our animation a little snappier right and now our animation is ready to roll right but we still have a texture and few shapes to add in this composition so let's do it pretty quickly so again i'll be just using the same texture that we imported at the beginning of this tutorial and then just drag it onto the top of the layer and then hit s on your keyboard to bring up the scaling property and scale this so that it fits the entire composition and then and change the track mat of this outline layer the second layer to luma mat now let's again um, add a shape so just zoom in a little and keep the resolution at full and try to make a perfect circle by holding just control and shift at the same time like this and you can also move this layer just by using arrows if you want and again let's create another shape of a triangle uh, so I will be using pen tool so just make it something like this and now and put this layer just below this squid game text right and if you want to rename this layer just hit enter and let's rename this as shapes now uh, just again fit it to 100% and now this uh, this entire composition is now good to go and now as two of our compositions are ready so let's finally move on to our third composition main where we will be giving some final touches to our animation just by using some uh, color corrections cropping and masking techniques right so let's begin by uh, dropping this background composition first and then we will drag our text composition on top of it right then create a new solid uh, so let's call it as crop and let's keep the color as black hit ok and turn on the title action save because we are going to create a mask on this that's why we will be needing this rectangles right so now select the rectangle and create a mask just like something like this and then click on invert it and then you can turn on the title action save and again create a new solid and we will call it as light and this time we will keep the color as white hit ok and then select the ellipse tool and try to make a uh, make an ellipse with a free hand very randomly and then place it into the center and hit F to see the feather and increase the feather amount to very high and then uh, bring this uh, light just below the text layer 
and then let's create another solid and we will call it vignette and keep the background color as black hit ok and turn on the title action save grab the pen tool and let's create a shape of diamond like this and hold alt on your keyboard to convert these straight lines into a curve like this and you, you have to click on all the four points and then you can also pull this down and manipulate these points the way you want and then hit M on your keyboard to see the mask and and also first of all just uh, turn off this title action save and invert the mask and hit F on your keyboard and increase the feather to a very high amount and then let's increase the size of this vignette and to around something like this yeah this looks good to me and now I think the text uh, is is too big as of now so I'm gonna scale it down to around 80% uh, yeah our animation is now almost complete but let's do some color correction to punch up the color just a touch so what we can do is just right click go to new and we will add an adjustment layer and let's rename this to CC for color corrections and let's go to the effects and presets tab search in for an effect which is called curves double click to apply that effect and then adjust the curves the way you want for your animation like yeah this this is fine for me yeah this is good so now then again create a new null object and then parent this background and the text layer to the null object and then select the null object hit s on your keyboard to see the scaling property and go to the very beginning of your timeline drop a keyframe on the scale property and go to around four seconds and then increase the scaling amount to 120 percent now select both of the keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor and make the curve something like this and now let's see the preview again and I think let's just one more time yeah I think this looks really cool and I think the animation is now complete and there we have it the the squid game trailer is ready in just a few simple steps and it really looks pretty cool right so yeah this marks the end of the tutorial and thank you so much for watching this video and if you really enjoyed learning this animation then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any creative upcoming tutorials and lastly don't forget to follow me as motion street on instagram and if you love reading articles then please do check out my blog thinkingtales.com and i will see you in the next video till then keep dreaming keep creating peace out